Hey guys, welcome back to Just Car Rob. And she's all done. The doggy's all done. Bigfoot's all done. They're both all done. But this is the one that we were working on. Move it, doggy. Yep, there you go. That's what she came out looking like. Got her dog on a leash. She got her big feet. Yep, so there she is. It's all done. Her dog fell over. She's got her little walking stick there. She's got a little dog. She's got a little ponytail thing in the back. Got her sandals all painted up. And uh, that's what it came out looking like. So stay tuned for the painting video, which is coming up. This is part four of Carving Bigfoot, a Basswood Bigfoot Girl. All right. All right, so here we go. All righty then. We've got this painting party started. And we're finishing up painting the little dog gray. Moving him off to the side. This is part four, the end, my friends. The end. Yes, we're done with the Bigfoot girl. All done with her. Painting uh, her feet that flesh color. Uh, we mixed up. It's a little bit of uh, latte brown, and it's called High Flesh. High Flesh by Folk Art. Um, for me, it's a little too pink. It's a little too white flesh type thing, so I added a little of that, mo that mocha brown. You can actually get away with the, the uh, latte brown. It's a very, very light brown. Uh, but so I just mixed it up and painted her that now we're gonna move on to different colors of purple Her dress is gonna be purple the patches on her dress is a weird pink purple color And then we'll even be messing around with a metallic purple That we will end up coating her uh, belt Her straps crossed her sandal and her ponytail braid hair tie thing there and the uh, elbow patches on her shirt and her collar on her shirt will both be in that light purple pink, weird purple pink color. They all kind of jive together, so that's what I went with. And with the hair, we went with a sunflower yellow with a little of the latte brown mixed in it to darken it up, make it more of a blonde than a, a yellow. Okay. So we're painting her up. Look at the size of them feet. I put a number four on the bottom because this would be the fourth girl in the girl series that we've tried to, uh, we have attempted to carve anyway, to make her look like a girl. She's got a dress and long hair, so she's got to be a girl, right? Right. All right. Right, Spike? Spike Foot likes her. He says she's all right. And, uh, yeah, we got, uh, Jordy Johnson over there carving fusion. Doing his chainsaw wizard tree. Wizard tree. Uh, making all kinds of wood spirits. Hundreds of thousands and millions of wood spirits. Oh, my! Hundreds and thousands and millions of wood spirits. Oh, my! I think everybody in, uh, the lower Delta area there in Lagger, B.C. has to have one of Jordy's, uh, wood spirits hanging in their yard by now, if not several. Which is great because the wood spirits bring luck. So there are some lucky people over there in Ladner, Canada. They gotta be super lucky. Jordy, when are you gonna take us back to the spirit trails, Jordy? You haven't gone to the spirit trails. You need to add a new guy to the spirit trails, Jordy. Carve another big guy and put him in the spirit trails. When are we going back to the spirit trails? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet, Jordy? All right. Uh, see BAP over there in Ireland that uh, I can carve. I can carve, spelt with an I and a K. And an A and an N. And a K A R V E. Carve. I can carve. BAP in Ireland. See, he's broke out the chainsaw. He's carving big wood spear heads now. It's all your fault, Jordy Johnson. All your fault. All my friends are moving into the chainsaw wood spear heads. I guess I'll have to do one next. Since you talked me into buying that uh, new uh, steel 170 saw that I got. That I've only uh, practiced with on Stanley's head out there. 
Uh, still trying to find a sprocket for that. Still trying to find the sprocket. Okay, this is that funky pink, purple, pink, purple color that we got going here. Uh, we're going to use on the patches and the neck collar thing. Yep. See, it's a not a pink, but it's a purple. I guess it's a very, very light colored purple. Got Claire Tomlin over there in France. She got herself an electric chainsaw. She's carving stuff. Rock on, Claire. What's Jordy say? Carry on, carry on. Carve deeper, Claire. Yes, Claire's a heck of an artist. She needs to stop being such a chicken and start a YouTube channel. So we can watch her progress as she moseys along through the uh, summer here with her chainsaw carving stuff. Claire's a heck of an artist. Yeah, I see some of you guys went over there and subscribed to uh, Sean Brooks at Pen on Fire and Carving. Pen on Fire and Carving. He also has a Facebook page, Pen on Fire and Carving. So, uh, yeah, you get a chance, go over and uh, check out Sean Brooks. New guy. Uh, he, but he's trying. He's trying. Then, you, of course, you got Uncle Kevin Carves and Ryan Cook. Those guys. And uh, the 49er. Go check him out. And Mark DeMaker and Matt Carves and Ben Studio on the Lake, our buddy Ben. Flying around saving people, Ben is. It's uh the weather is awesome. Today it was only uh 60 degrees here in Michigan on the west coast of Michigan. Wonderful day, a little bit uh chilly when the wind blows. Uh so we're out there still messing around the boat, trying to put uh get an anchor mate hooked to it. Found out our water pump impeller isn't bad, so we had to order one of those. But the boat's been sitting for four years, so it's all my fault. Yep, that's what you get when you don't start them every year, guys. Your your water pump gets froze up. So uh, we'll have to put a new one of those in whenever it gets here. Uh, then we got to play around with the motor. Make sure it's running right. I got a feeling I'm going to have to pull the carburetors off of it and give them a clean job, too. Give them a clean job. Uh, my buddy there, Anna. She's doing awesome carving. She's a whittler with a knife. She's making little guys. She's uh, been sending me some pictures. And doing. I see she's doing some uh, really cool carvings over there. Nice carvings. And I might have to steal a couple of your ideas and, then pour, and, and uh, turn them into Just Carve Rob guys. We'll take your idea, Just Carve Rob's idea, and we'll come up with some uh, weird creature, I think, out of all of that. The shop inspector's hiding under the deck, sleeping. That's where she likes to be this time of day. Late into the afternoon. See, we're uh, getting that purple-pink color. There's the collar that I was talking about. And you can see uh, the I painted the face and the hands, that flesh tone color. Got a very, very, this is a very tiny model brush that I got from a hobby store. It's only like three hairs wide. Very tiny, very tiny. All right. And I think that's about it for her. We're running into our time here. I think we've got a couple minutes left. Uh, I think I covered Evil Evil Rick. Don't forget about Evil Rick. He took us for a motorcycle ride the other day. It was awesome, Rick. Had a lot of fun on our motorcycle ride, Evil Rick. It was, uh, he was checking out the river last year, if you remember. He had a video where he went down to the river and there was two great big barges um, that were stuck on the bank. Uh, I think it's the Mississippi River uh, is where he was at down there in Illinois. And there's two great big barges, and I think they chopped them up. I think he said they chopped them up. 
Or maybe they just welded them up and refloated them once the river got high enough to move them again. Who knows? Evil Rick's going to have to investigate that a little bit more for us. But you know that Evil Rick. He's out on that trike just raising holy moly with it. Cruising around, chasing all the biker chicks. Oh, yeah. Evil Rick. Did we forget any, any of our friends? Uh, Doug Linker, Gene Messer. Gene Messer uh, is where I learned how to... Uh, I watched his videos and watched learned how to turn the head on these guys. All right. So we're running out to the end here, guys. Share, subscribe, like, all of that good stuff. Be awesome. Carve something awesome. And we will catch you guys on the next one. All right? All right. Bye-bye. Stay safe.